Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. If you want to turn there, I'll give you a few moments to find it as we dive in. Today we are talking about promises, and it reminded me of the most sacred of promises, the pinky promise. See, when I make a pinky promise, I know that it is a promise that can never be broken, and that's how I like to think of God's promises. Now think back to the last promise that was made to you that was broken, and how did that make you feel? I know that when I have had promises broken to me, or even when I have broken promises myself, that it makes me feel like crud. Now think about the last time that someone kept a promise or a serious promise to you that they had made. When someone keeps a promise, I feel like that person loves and or respects me and cares about our relationship. And I tend to think that this is how Abraham and Sarah would have reacted to God in today's story. Now, I use the term story loosely, as I don't believe that the Old Testament is a collection of children's bedtime stories, but in fact, it's a series of events that show off God's faithfulness and man's mess-ups that serve as an awesome reminder of how awesome our God is. So in today's story, we find ourselves 25 years after God's initial promise to Abraham to give him an innumerable amount of descendants. Now, this is a promise that God originally made to a 75-year-old man without any kids. And then he makes it again in our previous chapter, when Abraham is now 99 years old and still without any kids, and God shows up and he reaffirms his promise. And now in today's story, it's a year later, we finally see the fulfillment of that promise in the birth of Isaac. Let's dive into uh, verse 1. It says, The Lord kept his word. And did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. She became pregnant and she gave birth to a son uh, for Abraham in his old age. And this happened at just the right time God had said it would. And Abraham named their son Isaac. Eight days after Isaac was born, Abraham circumcised him as God had commanded. Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse a baby, yet I have given Abraham a son in his old age? See, one year prior, Abraham and Sarah literally laughed at God in disbelief. And now they're witnessing this promise being fulfilled. Now they're laughing in joy, knowing that God, the creator of the universe, cared about keeping his promise to them, must have changed their hearts and their attitudes in some awesome ways. Throughout this text, we are reminded constantly of God's faithfulness, almost as if the author was really trying to drive this point home. First, Abraham was 100 years old, and then it continues to say that the Lord kept his word, that it happened just the time that God had said it would, and also that God has brought me laughter. So what do your circumstances look like? Are you sitting there as a 90-year-old or 99-year-old Abraham laughing at God for promises that you have yet to see fulfilled? See, the takeaway for you today is, do you trust your circumstances more than you trust in God's promises? So what are some of God's promises to us? Well, I'd like to encourage you to read through the Bible and find God's promises for yourself. But here are three that I hope will encourage you today. First one's found in Philippians 1.6. It says that he, meaning God, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the the day of Christ Jesus. And again, we get in Matthew 28.20, it says, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God promises to never leave us. And then in in Ephesians 3, verse 20, it says that God has more in store for you than you can even imagine. My challenge for you today is to search out those promises for yourself and to begin living your life while keeping God's promises in mind and then see how God begins to show up in new ways every day. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video with your friends and family, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.